One of the benefits of Figma and other more modern design software is that it allows you to inspect the CSS properties for different components. If we select the outline button component on the left, or that the frame, we see that it has a width, a height, and a position as part of the CSS. The very first line of the CSS is always the name of the component, and so you notice that this here matches this here. And you can display this either as actual code or more in a grid format with this information at, displayed as a table. You can also change how it displays the CSS to also be uh, iOS or Android markup depending on what you, type of software you're developing for. It's important to realize though that this button has multiple layers. And so you need to select each layer if you want to be able to see the CSS for that layer. For instance, when we select the button label, the CSS title on the left changes, and now we see information about the text label here. We see the font family, style, weight, size, and line height. And then when we select the button platter or the the actual background of the button, we see that there's further CSS information, for instance, specifying what the border is, what the border color is, uh, the border sizing, and the radius, for instance. And you can also note that this information changes whether you're looking at this in the table view or the code view as you move through each of these layers. Unfortunately, the way which a component gets built in this user interface software does vary slightly from how you would code this in pure CSS. Therefore, although you see CSS in this far right panel, you can't really simply export, you know, copy and paste the CSS into your script because you probably would want to approach building this particular component in a slightly different way using code rather than having to use the layers uh, within the design software.